Welcome. My name is Randy Jenny and this is a short video demonstrating file management techniques using a Mac computer. So the first thing we want to make sure is that we're in the Finder. So if you click on this smiley face down in the dock, that will make sure you're in the Finder. And if there are no other windows already open, it will open uh, a Finder window for you. The other way to open a Finder window once you're in the Finder is go to the go to File and choose New Finder Window. So now we have two of them open. That's more than we need, so I'm just going to close one of them. Now these windows, the, uh, just like any other window, can be resized and moved. If I want to move it around, I can grab it, hold of it by the title bar. If I want to resize it, I can grab any of the edges or any of the corners, and I can resize it. Now, there are two views in the Finder that are probably most useful. This, uh, this first one is a list view, which will show uh, a series of folders, and it includes these little triangles that will let you expand them. So that's a fairly useful view. The other useful view is this column view, which will let you, for example, if I click on Documents, and then I went into, uh, oh, let's see, how about if we go into old stuff. Then I can see other items, and if I keep clicking on folders, it will show me each folder's contents in another column. So that's a fairly useful view as well. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm in Documents, and then I want to create a new folder called McEwen. So, I can create new folders in a couple of different ways. I can go to this sprocket and do new folder. And it creates a new folder and allows me to name it. So I'm going to name this one McEwen. And it renames the folder and it puts it into alphabetical order. It puts it into the right place. Now, if McEwen is selected like that, it is smart enough to know that the next folder I want to create is inside McEwen. If I wanted it to be an equal partner alongside McEwen, I would have to click in this blank space down here. But if I want to create a folder inside McEwen, which is what I do want to do, I'm going to highlight the word McEwen. Now I'm going to create a folder in a slightly different way just to show you another technique. I can go File and New Folder up here. Or I could memorize the command shortcut which is Shift uh, Command N to create a new folder. So I could use either of those techniques. So now I'm going to create Business Computing. And if I was uh, so inclined, I would create folders for each of my other courses. So I would have to make sure I click in a blank space because I want these to be equal partners, not nested one inside the other. So I might click down here and then I could do new folder again. And I could create a folder for my English course, etc. Okay, I'm going to go back to Business Computing, and I'm going to create another folder inside there. So, another new folder, and I'm going to create Assignments. Inside Assignments, I'm going to create two more folders, and then I'll be done creating folders for a little while. So, I'm going to create another new folder. I'm going to call this one greater word 1 and alongside it, so I'm going to click in the blank space, I'm going to create another new folder and call this one greater word 2. One other thing I should mention is this video is based on you having completed the setup instructions in the setup document at the very start of the course because that document contains a number of uh, steps involving setting up browsers, setting up this finder program, etc. So it's important that you do that one first. So if you need to do that now and come back to this video, now would be a good time to do that.
Okay, so I now have these two grader folders and I need to go to my IT lab and download the grader files that correspond to each of these two folders. So I've already got Chrome uh, launched and I've got uh, myself positioned on my IT lab. So I'm going to click on this Word Grader 1 uh, project here and it should bring up a new window and I want to download the files associated with Grader Word 1 or Word Grader 1. So I'm going to click on the green arrows and download these files one by one. So I'm going to click on download. Now if this is the first time you've used this window you will notice that it's in a sort of a compressed format. It doesn't give you very good navigation tools but if you click on this small button it will expand out and give you a view that is very similar to that column view that we talked about a few moments ago. So I can click on Documents, I can click on McEwen, Business Computing, Assignments, Word Grader 1, and now I'm in position to save this first item into the proper Word Grader 1 folder. And it downloads it. Now, Chrome will only ask you where you want to put the file if you've completed those setup steps that I referred to earlier. Otherwise it will just dump this in the downloads folder and then you'll have a quite a difficult uh, cleanup job later. Okay, I'm going to click on the second item. Now the good news is it positions it right where I left off so I, I'm in the greater word one folder so I can just click save and that's the only two files that I need so I'm going to go close and return. I'm going to close this window and it says are you really sure you want to quit because you haven't really done the activity. That's okay all I'm doing for now is collecting the files so I'm going to say leave this page. Now I'm going to do the second uh, word grader just to remind you to reposition yourself so I'm going to click on word grader 2 and download the files. And I'm going to click on the first item, the green arrow. Now just be careful, don't put them in the Word Grader 1 folder. Remember to reposition yourself in Grader Word 2. Save it there. And you get the idea. You would do the same for the other two green arrows so that you had downloaded those ones and you continue on. That's how you're going to collect all of the Grader files. So let me just close down and I'm done with that for a little while. Okay, now the, um, the other thing we need to complete the file management assignment is we need to go to Blackboard and download uh, a set of files called the student data files. So in Blackboard I'm going to position myself in Assignments. So you'll need to log into Blackboard and go to the course, Business Computing. Now if I scroll down, there's the File Management Capstone Assignment. So I need this large collection, this zip file that's 159 meg and it's a collection of files that I'll need for this assignment. Now the instructions say to download it into, let's see, into Business Computing. So I want to make sure I have highlighted Business Computing and I'm going to save. Now this is a fairly large file. It says it will take a minute. I'm hoping it will go a little faster than that, but we'll see. While it's doing that, I'm going to start creating another series of folders. So. For the second half of the assignment, I need to create a series of folders that look as follows. So inside Assignments, I create a folder called File Management. So I'm going to click on Assignments. I'm going to create a new folder called File Management. And inside File Management, I'm going to create another new folder 
This one is called another. Inside another, I create another new folder. This one is called time. Inside time, another new folder. This one is called and. And finally, the last folder in that branch is called place. Then I need to, I can use this back button to kind of move me back up a little bit. So alongside the word another, I'm going to create another new folder called boy. And inside that there's one called meets, etc., etc. You can get the details from the file management assignment. But the whole idea here is we've created a a fairly complex series of folders, some of which are nested inside of one, one another, some of which are alongside one another, and we're going to copy a whole bunch of files from one place to another and then delete and then rename and do a whole bunch of file management activities. So if I go back to, um, if I go back to business computing, my download has now completed. So I'm going to double click on that zip file and it will expand the zip file out into a folder containing a whole bunch of documents. These are the documents that we're going to uh, copy and paste into those other folders that we just created. So what you might want to do at this point is maybe have two finder windows open. So I'm going to take one and I'm going to make it a bit smaller. That's going to be where I get all of the files from. Then I'm going to do another finder window and I'm going to move it over a little bit and maybe I'll go back to uh, documents and to list view. That might be handier here. And I'll show you a little trick. I can expand out all of the McEwen folders in one fell swoop if I hold down the Option key as I click on McEwen. So there you can see some of the folders we've created plus the whole set of student files. I've also got the same student files over here on the left. So when you start to work through the instructions that will say perhaps copy all the Excel files into the folder called place, you might do this sort of thing. Uh, or maybe I'll, I'll do an example of copying some of those files. So if I wanted to copy the first five files, for example, I could highlight the first one I could shift click on say the last one and then if I was if the instruction was to move them into a folder called place I would click and drag them over and hover over place and let go and it would copy those files into that folder now I don't have the instructions in front of me so I don't know that that's the exact correct instruction but that's the general technique okay I hope that has been helpful for you and uh, that's it for this video.